Well, next to one of the biggest nights of boxing in Liverpool for many years. This Saturday, the Echo Arena will be packed to the rafters as the Waver Tree bomber Tony Bellew steps into the ring to challenge Nathan Cleverly for his WBO World Light Heavyweight title. Now, it's fair to say these two do not get on, as you can see from this recent head-to-head. -head. And that was something I asked them about when they were here in this very studio just a short time ago. OK, so, chaps, where has this bad blood come from? What's the cause of it? Best ask on the man on your left. Nathan? Um, a series of press conferences. Um, and I think it's been pretty inevitable, really. Um, we're both undefeated fighters, both very competitive, and we both want to win. And we're both, you know, we're fighting for my world title. So it's a big prize at the end of it. I mean, I should point out, we've got security here in the studio for the first time ever, just in case it kicks off. This isn't Panto, is it? It's nothing that can kick off. We wait till Saturday till we kick off, and then it kicks off for real. So, you know, Saturday comes. I can't wait. Nathan, you're going very much into the lion's den on Saturday night. You're fighting in Tony's backyard in Liverpool, a very partisan crowd. Yeah. Are you unnerved by that? No, I'm, I'm ready to fight. I know mentally I can handle it. And I will handle it. And when Tony hits me with one of his shots, I keep coming. He hits me again. I keep coming. I'm going to keep coming all night. I'm going to make, I'm going to make it a nightmare for him. Tony, is he underestimating 10,000 scousers here? Underestimating when I actually hit him that he's going to keep coming. I'm going to hit him. He's not going to keep coming. I'm going to hit him again. And the fight's going to be over. And then 10,000 scousers are going to go absolutely nuts. And he's going to realise what 10,000 scousers the noise they can make. At the press conference a little earlier, Nathan revealed that he's only actually watched a couple of your fights. He thought he'd seen enough. Does that offend you, in a way? That's nonsense. He's been up more than my fights than he said he's seen. It's just mind games that have backfired on him. Just like the Liverpool top he's got on underneath his tracksuit today. To be honest, he's not a Liverpool fan. Have you got a Liverpool shirt Gen on? Genuinely a Liverpool let's have a look fan at it. since I was 11 years of age, mate. Come on, let's have a quick look. Cardiff City in Liverpool fan since yeah. I was 11 years of age. Ask me any questions, come on. <laughs> so whatever you want. You can say you're a Liverpool fan or you want. I don't know any other football fan who wears two tops. You've never caught me on with another football top in your life. He had the, play, he had the, he had the Cardiff, he had the Cardiff, Cardiff top on at the last press conference. So, you know, at the end of the day, What's wrong with that? I would never wear another football top. Is there any way we can end this interview with a handshake from you two? It's respect there. Yeah? Just respect. Come on, let's have it. Thanks very much, fellas. And may the best man win on Saturday night. Thank you for coming in. Spot on. Thanks, man. Thank you.